Good evening and welcome to All Hallows Episcopal Church on this Wednesday, November 13th for a service of Compline. We're thankful that you're here. I'm thankful to have Karen here to help lead. Good evening, Karen. Good evening. We are in the Book of Common Prayer on page 127 and our psalm will be Psalm 31. Take a moment to breathe and get into the proper posture that we need and we'll begin. The Lord Almighty, grant us a peaceful night and a perfect end. Amen. Our help is in the name of the Lord. The maker of heaven and earth. Let us confess our sins to God. Almighty God, our heavenly Father, we have sinned against you through our own fault in thought and word and deed and in what we have left undone. For the sake of your Son, our Lord Jesus Christ, forgive us all our offenses and grant that we may serve you in newness of life to the glory of your name. Amen. Amen. May the Almighty God grant us forgiveness of all our sins and the grace and comfort of the Holy Spirit. Amen. O God, make speed to save us. O Lord, make haste to help us. Glory to the Father and to the Son and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. Alleluia. Alleluia. Psalm 31. In you, O Lord, have I taken refuge. Let me never be put to shame. Deliver me in your righteousness. Incline your ear to me. Make haste to deliver me. Be my strong rock, a castle to keep me safe. For you are my crag and my stronghold. For the sake of your name, lead me and guide me. Take me out of the net that they have secretly set for me. For you are my tower of strength. Into your hands I commend my spirit. For you have redeemed me, O Lord, O God of truth. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. Be sober. Be watchful. Your adversary, the devil, prowls around like a roaring lion, seeking someone to devour. Resist him, firm in your faith. Thanks be to God. Take a moment. Take a posture that releases stress from your neck and from your shoulders and your back. There are so many things in this world that will devour us if we let it. Chief among those are hate. Hate for whatever reason. Hate against our neighbors, hate against people with different ideologies or political leanings or stances on anything. Hate because of money. And all these things eat at us. And they don't affect those things that we are hating on from our heart. And so it is utmost importance to let to let those things not devour us, to be on guard against them, to remain firm in our faith. And so, with that idea in mind and knowing that we can't release the hate without God's help, 
I invite us into a place to think about just one thing today that we are hating or some person that we feel ill will towards in our hearts and offer it to God and to try and let it go saying, I will with God's help. So I invite us into that place now. Amen. Mm -hmm. Into your hands, O Lord, I commend my spirit. For you have redeemed me, O Lord, O God of truth. Keep us, O Lord, as the apple of your eye. Hide us under the shadow of your wings. Lord, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Our Father in heaven, hallowed be your name. Your kingdom come, your will be done on earth as in heaven. Give us today our daily bread. Forgive us our sins as we forgive those who sin against us. Save us from the time of trial and deliver us from evil. Lord, hear our prayer. And let our cry come to you. Let us pray. Look down, O Lord, from your heavenly throne and illumine this night with your celestial brightness that by night as by day your people may glorify your holy name through Jesus Christ, our Lord. Amen. Amen. Keep watch, dear Lord, with those who work or watch or weep this night and give your angels charge over those who sleep. Tend the sick, Lord Christ. Give rest to the weary. Bless the dying soothe the suffering, pity the afflicted, shield the joyous, and all for your love's sake. Amen. Mm -hmm. In this moment of intercession, we invite yours, either out loud or in silence. We begin by praying for all those on the All Hallows Parish prayer list knowing that each of their needs is different, each of the circumstances is different, each of the struggles are different. But we trust in God's mercy and compassion. And we ask God to take away whatever suffering is there. And we ask God to use us in service of helping and loving and caring for those in need. We pray for the hungry and the unhoused, those who struggle with their mental health. We pray for the unemployed and the underemployed, those who are living with addiction. We pray for those who have lost hope and for those who have lost their sense of purpose, for those that are living in precarious positions and situations, either physically financially, emotionally, or spiritually. We pray for 
those who are living in situations that are too crowded and they have no space for themselves, and also for those who are isolated and alone. We pray for our world, for an ending of violence and war and conflict all around the globe, especially for Ukraine, for the Middle East, Sudan. <clears throat> and we pray that world leaders may seek long lasting peace that lifts up rather than destroys. We pray for those who have been so hurt by these conflicts, especially the innocent and those who are most vulnerable, the children, disabled, elderly. We give thanks and pray for those aid agencies that are bringing food and water shelter and medical care. Here in this country, we pray for an end of division, an end of gun violence in our streets, an end of discrimination of all kinds. We pray for the church, the church around the world in this parish, All Hallows, that we are light in the darkness, that we are a place of welcome and refuge, that we share the good news of God in Jesus Christ. <clears throat> We remember all who have died, that they may have a place in God's eternal kingdom, especially for Anne, Helen, and the saints of all hallows. And we do give thanks for the day that has been, the laughter that was shared, joy encountered in family, friend, and stranger. For the purpose that we move through the day with, the tasks that we accomplish. We give thanks for the seasonable weather, for birthdays and anniversaries. We give thanks for the people of All Hallows, and we give thanks for Karen and her many ministries. We give thanks for the blessings that we've seen today and the blessings that have gone by unnoticed. And as we recognize them, we pray that we may share our blessings with others. All these prayers we lift up to you, O God, in the sure and certain hope that you hear and will act as is best for us. Amen. Guide us waking, O Lord, and guard us sleeping that awake we may watch with Christ and asleep we may rest in peace. Lord, you now have set your servant free to go in peace as you have promised. For these eyes of mine have seen the Savior whom you have prepared for all the world to see, a light to enlighten the nations and the glory of your people Israel. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. Amen. Guide us waking, O Lord, and guard us sleeping, that awake we may watch with Christ, and asleep we may rest in peace. Let us bless the Lord. Thanks be to God. The Almighty and merciful Lord, Father, Son, and Holy Spirit, bless us and keep us. Amen. Amen. Thank you for joining us tonight. Thank you, Karen, for your leadership. It is always a privilege for us to spend a few moments in prayer with you. 
at the end of the day. We hope that your night is restful and regenerative and that you awake tomorrow with joy in your heart. Sunday, our service is at uh, 10 o'clock and uh, there, that will be followed by fellowship. Also, we will be back tomorrow evening with um, night prayer with our friends from St. Peter's Church in the Great Valley. We hope that you'll join us. Have a good night. Be at peace. Pray for peace.